This video is for the sixth grade fair use project assignment one. First, you're gonna to go to drive.google.com, then you're gonna click on new, um, and then you're going to click on Google Slides. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to send the presentation to your partner. So you're gonna click on share in the top right corner, and then it's going to prompt you to give your presentation a name. And so um, we can just title it, um, how to use Creative Commons. And then what we're going to do next is click on Save right here. Um, then what we're going to do is type in our partner's email address. Um, make sure you put 22 at HanoverStudents.org after the person's last name. Everybody's is going to be different, so please make sure that you spell it correctly. And then you'll click on send. Um, next, what you're going to do is your partner should be able to go to Gmail and open up the presentation. Um, next, you're going to go over here on the right-hand side, and you're going to choose a theme. You can choose whatever theme you want. Um, then you're going to add a title. So you're going to click where it says click to add title, and you want to type in something like how to use Creative Commons, and then you would put in your names in the subtitle. All right, um, next what you're going to do is you're going to um, go ahead and add a new slide. So you're going to click on the plus sign in order to add a new slide. And then you're going to type up at the top, what is Creative Commons? Um, and you can copy this, that's fine, um, or type something similar. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to um, add some stuff that looks similar to what we see here. So you want to explain what Creative Commons is. Please don't copy this exactly. Put it in your own words. And then you want to tell that there are a couple of different types of Creative Commons licenses. So for example, some Creative Commons, Commons licenses allow other people to change or sell the work. Um, but once again, don't copy this exactly. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new tab. And in the new tab, what you're going to do is you're going to type in search.creativecommons.org. And you're going to be taking a screenshot. In other words, you're going to um, actually do a picture of the computer screen. So it's search.creativecommons.org. And from here, you're going to just um, hold down control and the button above the six key. And then you'll click copy to clipboard. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to click back over to your presentation. You're going to click the plus sign in order to add a new slide. And then what you're going to do is type in um, something similar to what we see here. So um, for example, we could say how to search Creative Commons. And then you're going to just um, two finger click in any of the blank white space. So two fingers kind of apart like that. And then you're going to choose paste and it's going to paste a picture of your computer screen. You're then just going to click and drag the, the top left corner just to make it a little bit smaller so that way we can see the title and you're going to click on the outside border where it says click and then just hit backspace on your keyboard because we're not going to need that. Next we're going to add some arrows so you're going to click um, the drop down arrow right here um, with the circle and the square choose arrows and then you're going to choose the arrow um, that points to the right that first one. You're going to click and drag to draw an arrow pointing to the URL and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit control C on your keyboard to copy it and then hit control V on your keyboard to paste it. So now we have two of them. We're going to click and drag that second one so that it's pointing at Google Images. Um, we're then going to click on the shape tool one more time, go down to arrows and this time we're going to do an up arrow which is the third one over and we're going to put the up arrow so that it's pointing at the two check marks. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add text boxes. So you're going to click on the T for the text box and you're going to put a text box right underneath the first arrow. And then what you want to do is type something similar to this. So first go to search.creativecommons.org. So you're giving people directions on what to do. Um, then you're going to 
go ahead and make sure you put in another text box with the second arrow is. So you're going to click on the T for text box and then um, click and drag. And then you'll say something like second, click Google Images. And then you, what you want to do is you want to tell what these um, check boxes mean. So you're going to click on the T for text box one more time. And then you'll just click and drag. Um, and you want to put something similar to what we see here. Um, actually, you're going to put something similar to this right here, where it's going to say, um, if you want to make money from the picture, click use for commercial purposes. So if anybody wanted to make money from the image and not get in trouble, they have to check that. If you want to change the picture, click modify, adapt, or build upon so you don't get in trouble if it's something you want to change. Um, and then the last thing that you can do is give your text boxes and your arrows colors. You don't have to, but you can click on a text box and then click on the paint can and you can give it a color. Same thing with the arrows. You can do um, different, you know, do kind of corresponding colors for each different um, step. That'll make it easier to understand. But once again, this is optional, so you don't have to color it in. Um, but anyway, that's it.